Now I will uh, discuss about the scope of the solar energy in our country. All people know the solar energy comes from the sun. And the first use of the solar energy when the newly born child is exposed to solar radiations, then the child gets the vitamin protein from the sun for the healthy life and good health. Now we are talking of the energy scope in totality. So there are two types of the uh, energy. One is the non-energy sources and another is the energy sources. Non-energy sources are the sources containing inside the earth in form of coal, petroleum, natural gas. These sources are also known as the fossil fuel and these sources are the responsible to produce about more than 90% electrical power in our country which is in nature polluting the environment and also responsible for the climate change. So because of that now it is important to use as maximum as possible the renewable energy which includes solar energy, which includes uh, biomass, which includes the hydropower which includes this uh, 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 other source of the form of the energy. And out of all these energy, the solar energy is plenty available in our countries. For example, in our country, it is available 250 to 300 days per year. So now one can understand that it is pollution free. It does not affect the climate. That means it can sustain environment as well as the climate both. One important thing is that in our country, per capita consumption of the power or energy is roughly about 700 kilowatt hour against the per capita energy consumption 2000 kilowatt hour in USA and more than 2000 kilowatt hour in China. So now one can understand that how much we are far behind as far as energy use is concerned. Now which becomes the fourth important part in our life to do the daily routine work in addition to air, clean air, clean water, clean food. Now, as far as the energy is concerned, in India, our government has decided to define the energy security. Energy security means that every house at least should have the arrangement of the power to run the bulb and fan. This is called the energy security and the amount of the energy for energy security will depend upon the size of the family. Now, uh, this uh, uh, application of the solar energy in our rural and urban area includes first the lighting and in lighting means in the rural area street light is very very much important and there is a lot of scope to have this uh, business in this area. Second is the agriculture where the greenhouse, through the greenhouse one can increase the vegetable productions and also through the greenhouse technology one can dry the cash crop for storage purpose so the farmers in the future they can have the good return after doing that. And the another important application is the water pumping because irrigation is the basic parameter for the agriculture sector for the large productions and in this case in addition to that the most important application is the housing means to construct the house in India and as everybody knows that the India is divided into six climatic zones and design of the each climatic zone are different for example if you are going to design the house in a scenic, a cold climate so throughout the year you need a house where heating is required. So in that case, it is easy to design. For example, if you want to cool the house throughout the year, like desert area, there also design of the building is very simple. But when you are going to talk of the composite climate, like north part of India, where heating is less number of days and cooling is much, much more, let us say about 180 days. 
so in that condition the building should be designed from the cooling point of view and the parameter which affects the building from cooling point of view are thick wall in technical term it is referred as the tombe wall height of the room is very very important roshandan is very very important and also the class ventilation is also important and i will give some examples where such houses are constructed like in banaras the pandit madan mohan malve has started banaras university 1960 and all the building design constructed by then till recently was passively cool building and till today also the their classroom don't require you can say this uh, cooler or ac for teaching purpose so this is the beauty of the passive house where the fossil fuel based electrical power has the minimum use now this uh, as far as government is concerned governments are giving encouragement to the users to use all solar energy and there is a provision there are in terms of the subsidy and also there is channel partner which is registered with the mnre mnre means ministry of non resources and if you are going to have this solar system to the channel partner so that is their responsibility to take the subsidy from the government and you are nowhere associated as far as finances